Hello everyone and welcome to this week's scripting quick tip tutorial. This one I'm going to be going over a common resource people link to and use called scriptui.yonas or yonas.me. Now I believe this is made by a Finnish guy so correct me if I'm wrong but I believe it's pronounced with a y or maybe it's a h or something else but he's developed this awesome um script ui creation tool online today i'm going to be going over why to use it why not to use it and of course a bit about it this thing is commonly linked to in the discord in the comment section and people say they use it quite a bit although i don't i'm going to be going over it today before we get started i do want to remind you down below hit subscribe and the bell icon to be notified of new videos coming out twice weekly in the channel and down in the description you can follow us on github for coding updates as well as instagram for other live updates if you're not already a member of our Discord server, make sure you come and join to get help with scripting, extensions, plugins, submit tutorial ideas, and much more. And if you'd like to help support us on YouTube, you can do so down below by becoming a member or a supporter, which comes with cool perks, as well as helps us out financially. You can also check out the links down below to AE Scripts, Gumroad, and Adobe Exchange to see some other cool stuff I make. All right, so for starters, scriptui.joonas.me is the website. And from here, we can basically kind of just have a uh, Adobe script creator that allows us to build the UI from just clicking on buttons here on the side. We can add elements quite quickly. Um, and of course, you can add things like dividers and get complicated or simple UIs depending on how you want to structure things. So you can add groups, of course, and this is where it gets a little more complicated and you'll need to know some basics of scripting. Um, so if I wanted to create a group with several buttons, um, you can see I have a group set to the row orientation, but I can also change the properties in here to make it uh, column, row, adjust the spacing, uh, adjust how the children are aligned and all the stuff like that. So actually really quick to create a UI, um, I personally, have only used this maybe once or twice just to experiment with it because to be honest the way i learned is a bit different i didn't learn from having a ui builder already available um, i'm actually not even sure when this came out but i learned by basically just throwing code at the wall hoping it sticks and basically trial and error to figure out each ui element and through that extra painstaking process i actually learned a lot more detail and I can kind of write a UI from scratch without having to refer to all of this. All of these align children, orientation, uh, properties, and how to um, make groups and things within groups and orient that and etc. All of that is kind of innate to me at this point. And I don't need a tool like this. But these tools are probably super helpful for people who need a more visual way of learning or are just wanting to look into creating a UI without having to watch, you know, 32 60 minutes of tutorials um, with this you can create one quite quickly in just a visual way uh, without having to watch you know a bunch of different tutorials for different ui things now of course i do recommend watching tutorials especially on my own but that's more if you want to be a more long-term learner and developer sometimes people just want to whip up a quick ui and be able to send that to someone who's going to write the actual script code i've had people uh, create scripts with uh, this website, send it to me and say, hey, I've created this UI. Can you please provide the functionality for it? What would that cost? So there are cases where uh, that can be useful as well. If you're not exactly a coder yourself or don't want to become a coder, you can still create uh, a useful UI with this and send it to someone to write the more complicated stuff. Um, the website also does come with pretty cool stuff like a sample, which if you want to know how to make, say, for example, a more complex UI with uh, various panels, various groups, various orientations, various spacings, this will give you the whole rundown of kind of how you can create just about everything. Um, one thing I've noticed um, is a lot of the examples don't have, I guess this has an image, you just have to link to it. So the example doesn't have an image, but um, you can add an image quite easily or any of the elements that are missing. And then we can easily delete and start from a clean slate. You can also import an existing one, which is just based on some JSON. And we can also then, of course, export any UI we make to further import it later. This could be useful if you want to work on it on a different computer, but because you're using a web-based system, um, this you can load up on your other computer and have that working fine. Um, or you can send it to the client um, in the right formatting. 
But that's pretty much it. I wanted to go over the basics of this website, as well as how simple it is to create a UI, whether you're just getting into scripting or aren't interested in learning the more technical aspects of it. You can pretty quickly put together a UI with this awesome tool. In the left side, you have all of the useful stuff that will give you insight more into how scripting will be if you decide to go that route and write the scripts yourself. But you can create all the different types of groups and panels, and then the elements that can go within that, like text, buttons, images, checkboxes, drop downs, um, all of that kind of stuff. You can view a nice structured list of how everything is structured here, including when we hover over it, it displays what exactly we're looking at. And then for each of those elements, we have all of their properties. For example, if it's a checkbox, we have some text, we have whether it should be enabled or disabled, we have a tooltip which we can give it, and a whole bunch of other properties. Now, of course, there are a few properties that aren't included in this application, but these are really the main ones you'll ever need to use. Again, you have your items, your structure, your properties, and a nice visual display where we can either um, start over with a new project, import or export our current project, or check out the sample to see how things in a more complex way are built. If you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up button down below, hit subscribe and the bell icon to be notified of new videos coming out twice weekly in the channel. And down in the description, you can follow us on GitHub for coding updates, as well as Instagram for other live updates. And of course, I'll put the link to this website down below if you'd like to use it. If you're not already a member in our Discord server, make sure you come and join to get help with scripting, extensions, plugins, submit tutorial ideas, and much more. And if you'd like to help support us on YouTube, you can do so in the description by becoming a member supporter. Um, and this comes with cool perks like badges, Discord status, live streams, and polls. Helps us out financially as well. You can also check out the links down below to AE Scripts, Gumroad, and Adobe Exchange to see some other cool stuff I make. Thanks again for watching, everyone. We'll see you next time.